Happy girls don't cry. So you must never cry. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, man. Um, do you know what happened to me yesterday, Jarchi? I was walking around Bondi Junction, minding my own business, dropping some hot laps, doing some admin, doing some Europe admin. You got shot? A dude, a criminal. Yeah, I know, but no. Oh, okay. It's insensitive. He was a fucking criminal. Still, he got shot. Yeah, it is what it is. Sorry, so you didn't get it shot. It is what it is, and then you... Die. Mm. Clarification, I you didn't get did shot. did not, okay. but I was going down the elevator, yeah. and then it just abruptly stopped as we were all on it. So I literally was this close to face planting and eating shit. Oh, mate, I wish. Like It was like, doo I wish. I kind of wished I did as well. Like, imagine yeah, if we got... it would have fucked you up, mate. Yeah, I probably would have lost my front teeth. You've done that before, haven't you? Yeah, that one's fake. Yeah, true. Tripped on a bath of alcohol. But so how far up the escalators were you? I was at the very top, like ha- halfway oh, down. Oh, so you could have tumbled the whole way yeah. down. Yeah. And then it just went... And then I nearly fell into this girl. I was like, whoa, I nearly just ate shit. She was like, me too. <laughs> did you... Did, did... did When you were walking then down the elevator, did you get that weird it feeling like it should be so moving? It feels so weird. Why is that? It's the weirdest... Because it's just stairs, I know. essentially. It's the weirdest feeling. It's like when you're in a car and you're going, you know when you go in a car and then you go like fast over like a bump and then it feels like you're on a roller coaster? Yeah, you get a little um, tickle little, in your little, peenie. Little, a little butterfly in your tum tum. You do, you do. Is that what it felt like? I just find nah, even when there's... it wasn't. You know what's weird? <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> I, I've found that I've been coming... There's a lot of... Ele- You've been coming? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> on escalators. Yeah. There's been a lot of escalator issues lately. Every time I go somewhere where there's an escalator, one's either stopped, one's getting repaired, one's out of order, no matter where I am, North Sydney, fucking Westfield, Bonner mm. Junction. And then when the ones are stopped, you always walk up to it and you're like, well, these are now just stairs. So then Even I walk the up. But as, so- ones. At, but as soon as you get onto it, you go, Ugh, I know. And nothing's moving. It's as if, it, I think it's our brain's programmed to think, Oh, this moves. A hundred percent. We've got to move it like to it moves. It has to be. Because, yeah, even the flat one, the hill ones that you go up, yep. if that stopped, I'm like, this feels wrong. So, can I just clarify something? What? Well, I just want to clarify something. What? The big story you wanted to start with the podcast with today was an escalator stopped. <laughs> Can I say something else? As you were speaking, going, you know what, Lou? There's a lot of escalator issues at the moment in North Sydney, the eastern suburbs. It's you call it crazy, Tracy Grimshaw because we've got a problem. We need a current affair, my friend, because there's something going on with yeah. the escalators. Yeah. Who dragged me into that? Well, we, we're both in it together. Fucking <laughs> riveting content to start the podcast. That's right. I nearly right. ate shit on an ev- if elevator. You ate shit. Podcast start worthy. I disagree. If you ate shit, Lou, if you came to me this morning, you had a cut on your face, your hands were a bit bruised, you go, mate, you won't believe what's happened to me. And I go, save it for the pod. Now, if you go, you won't believe what's happened to me. <laughs> and I you nearly. go, I'm starting the pod with this. You go, Judgey, on an escalator yesterday, things stopped. <laughs> I guess it's the same as going, guess what, Judge? I nearly got murdered yesterday. Yeah. I guess it's yeah. the same kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Lou, I nearly had a car crash. Yeah. Lou, I was walking across the road yesterday. Car went right by me <laughs> on the road. Right by me. Meter away. <laughs> if I was there three seconds earlier or had stepped into it, car would hit me. Would have been hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw this giant truck. It was reversing. <laughs> I was about four metres away. <laughs> if I had walked four metres to the left, <laughs> bang, gone. Which would have been silly because it wasn't in my path direction at all. But if I had... Gone. I was literally walking home yesterday. There was a bloke soaring up a tree. Mm-hmm. It had fallen across the footpath, I think, maybe an hour hour or two beforehand. Yep. Now, I thought to myself, Jeepers, boy, you're lucky today. Now it's your lucky day. Go and buy a lottery ticket. Because yeah. if you were walking along this path two to three hours ago, uh-huh. okay, uh-huh. that's you gone. I went for a swim yesterday at Bondi, yeah. and I, I heard about three days earlier yeah. there was a shark. No, a shark attack had, had, had eaten a whale's carcass, Whoa. and I thought if I'd been there three days later and out the back of the ocean, it, 
Like two, K, two, three Ks <laughs> out. I could have died. Three or four Ks out, mate. It could have been me. You're brown bread. Do you know I? <laughs> no, I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. I never, ever considered buying a ticket on any Malaysian Airlines flight, but they've crashed before. I think about that. I could have bought one. It could have been me. at any time. It could have been you. And it could have been me, man. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ne- <laughs> Note to self: next time, eat shit. No, I like it because look what it's sp- looks what it's spawned. Look at that banter, Bad banter you was know, mate? such good bant. Bant. banter. Banter was so banterous. <laughs> it was banterous. Yeah, but we did have another fun idea. Well, well I you've got an idea. idea. So I said to I said on the way here to the pod, I said I'd love to name a business, and I know we named our podcast. Excuse me, senoritas. The uh, production, pres- our company. production company, which is amazing. Uh, but like, I came up with a few businesses. Imagine owning, and then we have to give them names. So we're going to give it a name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, imagine owning a laundromat. What do you call it? Clear your cum stains. I like it. <laughs> it's, good. it's got a nice ring to it. What? Um. I'd call it. I'd call it stainless steel. Because you won't get any stains, and we're so cheap. Ooh, it's a steal. That's good. I'd call mine S T A L. Staino mat. Ooh. Seems like you've heard stainless steel and gone with the st- <laughs> just added stain and just the laundromat. Okay, what about. <laughs> that's what it sounds what like. What about a chicken shop? A chicken shop? Check in for chicken. Ooh. Check in for chicken. I'd call it burgers. Bacurbas. Yeah, or or quack burgers. Quack? I guess that would have to be a duck burger. Duck, duck burger. Chicken shop. Just bacur burgers. Or call it like um, chi- uh, chicken and chips shop. <laughs> yeah, or like <sighs> like the chicken shop. Now we're, we're cooking talking. with gas. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is getting creative. Yeah, we're very good at this. Um, a coffee yeah. shop. Coffee shop? Flick my beans. <laughs> oh, I've got one. Coffee in the bean stalk. <laughs> you know, like you know, like you know, like no, yeah. no, no. We yeah, do, yeah. We do, buddy. It's not great. Okay. Think, think. It, give me, give me another. Bean. Bean delicious. Okay. I'm actually going to take the bean thing that I've done. Or baby chinos. Oh, I like that. So now we're going. That's got a nice ring to it. Yep. Oh, mate, you've done it. Baby Chino's for a meeting in 10. I like it. Hey, let's go get an arm and cap from Baby Chino's. Let's get a Baby Chino from Baby Chino's. Yeah. And a, oh, oh, and I've got it. And you sell Chino's. All the staff wear Chino's and there's heaps of babies around. And you can sell babies in Chino's. Yes. You steal them. Now, now we're thinking this is called, this is called. Copyright the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah brainstorming. Yes. You have the a babies business. are in chinos. Yeah, you have a business where you go around different suburbs, you kidnap babies, you take them to baby chinos, you put them in specific chinos, all right? Then you sell the babies for a profit. You've got that product for free. Now, that's 100% prof, okay, on the baby. You sell a baby a grand a pop, chinos included. Okay, let the customer know free that. Free chains. Free chains. And it's called baby chinos. And you sell coffee on the side. So the main hustle is selling babies and chickens. But you lure people in with the yeah, baby you lure, chinos. You lure them in. Okay, a mechanic. Mm. Wally's wheelies. I like Wally's wheelies. I like Wally's wheelies. <laughs> like wheelies. Um, Mags are us. Oh, I've got it. What? Gianni's pit stop. Oh, that's really good. That's not bad. Gianni's guys. That's good. There's sump tin about mags shop. So there's sump mags. Yeah. So. Or Lord of the Mags. <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the Mag mechanic. Drive mechanic. Mc, 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 McCann, McDonald's. But it's mechanic. <laughs> Donald owns it. 
It's McDonald's. Hungry mechanic. No. It's like, it's like hungry not, jacks. Nobody. <laughs> do you like, I have to explain all of mine? I'm like, coffee in the beans. So it's, 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 it's Well, I had to beans. explain McDonald's. True. As well. Okay, one last one. Yeah. The gym. Um, a gym. I just call it Jim, J I M. Just call it James. <laughs> James. Just call it James. I'd call it James. Yeah, I like that. James. Jim for short. Rigmeister. Okay. Uh, you got it. Abs are us. A lot of are us with you. A lot of just things are us, mm. isn't it? Try she squats, it. bro. Now we're talking. Squat shop. Yeah. Clean and mess. You know, like clean and press. But it's a mess because you come out so sweaty. So you want people to think it's a mess in there? No, it's just a play on words. I understood it. Do you mean like clean and jerk? Yeah. No, clean and press is what it's called. We is got, it? Yeah. Pretty sure that's clean and it's, jerk. It's clean and press, guys. Yeah. Clean and jerk would be a great name for a massage shop. <laughs> what would you call your massage parlour? Clean and jerk. Oh, come on. Some others. Beef jerky. The, the, jerk, sh- the, the jerk shop. Multiple tissue shop. You know, because... <laughs> We're not that good at this game. Nah. I don't know. I feel like copyright all those ideas. Some people might take them. We weren't good at it. Well, it's the same as when I came up with the Tamworth coffee shop and the giant guitar. Yeah, shocking idea. Well, turns out we're we're both very bad at, at coming up with names for businesses. I reckon the Tamworth mayor is going to be taking that. Speaking of Tamworth, uh, a bedwetter DM'd me and said that there's a litter of baby Tobies in Tamworth. True. Should we get one as a mascot for the podcast? Who would look after it? Me. No, you wouldn't. You'd have to while I went to Europe. We're not getting a Toby. It would be fun. Well, there'd be two I mean, Tobys did. Judge. You wouldn't look after it, buddy. I'm getting one in a year's time and I'm calling it Tony. And then a year and three months we'll be going, Tony's dead. That is so mean. <laughs> Dude, you're flat out. I can, well, you won't have time to feed it. I can look after a dog. Look, a professional businesswoman like you, who is so busy all the time, will not have True. a fucking True. chance. No, but it's perfect because all the hot girl laps I drop, Tony can come with me. But there's so little. Hey, Tony could, I could get pump to- 10Ks. You know what Tony could sit in? Kevin's front little pouch. Where would Kevin go when you hot girl I'd laps? get a backpack for Kev. Oh, man. We do need to get your bloke, don't we? <laughs> little backpack for Kev and then little Tony on the front. Tony for a baby corgi feels so wrong that it's right. No, it feels great. Like, oh, look at Tony. Tony, get here. Tony, big T. Get here, you fucking mongrel. Well, he won't be a mongrel. Get here. He'll, he'll, he'll be fucking a- hell, Tony, you fucking little bastard. Go fuck off. You, you would never. And also, oh. he, he won't be a mongrel. He'll be a purebred Welsh Pembroke corgi. Oh, that is the poshest thing you've ever said. That's what Toby was. A Welsh Pembroke corgi. That's what Toby was. Did Toby have his own Rolex? (laughs) (laughs) Jill, Jill, I've just checked my Rolex. Uh, Seems it's time for chow. Jill, seems it's time to chow down. What's he called again? A what? A Walsh ear. A a Walsh Pembroke Corgi. A Walsh Pembroke (laughs) (laughs) Corgi. Toby comes out in a little suit in a briefcase. (laughs) Jill, I'm I'm off to work. Please look after the gardens and the bones for me while I pop out for a moment, sweetheart. And I know where I've hid them, you crafty bitch. Don't you dare dig them up. (laughs) It's the funniest thing you've ever said. Did Toby have his own Rolex? (laughs) A Toblex. He he fucking... A a Walsh Pembroke Corgi. What if I called him Toblerone? You nah, shorten it then, to Toby and then it's just too much. Yeah, it's got to be Tony. You know? The Tonester. Tony's good. Tony's so it's good. It's a human name. I went to Bondi Junction. The reason I went to Bondi what Junction. What happened there, mate? Any fucking thing rough happened <laughs> in Bondi Junction? Any, like, life-threatening stuff? Oh, yeah. Did I tell you that the elevator stopped? Sounds like you'd have, like, a really cool yarn from there. The elevator stopped, man. <laughs> no, but the reason I went to the junction, actually, in the first place, like, I was doing some Europe admin, but yeah, yeah. someone told me that there were baby Tobies at the um, Bondi Junction. Um... <laughs> Pet, pet store. Pet store. So I went there and just hung out for a bit. Yeah. You, 
No, that's fine. Sad. People do. No, that's okay. Is that sad? You love corgis. They had corgis. I there. went in and I was like, oh. Yeah, you sent me three videos. Mm. One is enough. I took about seven. I don't doubt it. There was one and he was so cute. He looked just like Toby. And then there was one that almost looked a bit. A bit. He was weird. He had like a blue eye and like black up here and like white. You would have liked him. He was a bit odd. I got bit by a dog about half an hour ago. Why didn't you start the podcast with that? I completely forgot about it. Till, see all the red marks on my hand? But, Senorita, I don't feel bad when you get bit because you you lure them in and you play with them. Yeah, I deserved it. Yeah. It didn't wig me was out. It a, was it a Tony? It wasn't a Tony. It was this dog just sitting there outside of Woolworths. And I was like, fuck, I need to go and get my egg and lettuce. I need to go get an egg and let before the podcast. Haven't yeah. eaten. Need it stunk. An- yeah, it was d- It glorious. was very eggy. So you got- might have salmonella. I don't. You might. Because I didn't eat salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I said no laughter this podcast That's very true Now I go to the door of the Woolies See this little fucker and I'm like oh he's cute And we, I go excuse me senorita I go how you going mate I start patting him on the head And he's cool and he's enjoying it And but What kind of dog? I, I don't know Look, little mongrel fucker <laughs> And so when I've got the dog patting on the head Dogs love a chest, chest rub they love a chest rub. Mm. So I go in for the chest. He just goes and gets me and goes, and I go, buddy, buddy, buddy. And he lets go and I go, okay, that's my fault. That's my fault. And I walked through and I had punctures all along my hands, on my hands. And I'm like, that's cool. But then I patted him again afterwards on You're the top of the head. You're not running after a dog bites you? Well, nah. She passed me your hand. It's screaming. No, nah, I reckon you're giving the boy cried wolf, and he like just like dribbled on your hand. Can guarantee you he didn't. I would. I was I'm getting the CCTV footage. That's exactly what I was saying because I was like, I was thinking that I was walking along. I'm like, that would be hilarious if they watched that on the security camera because this dog just fucking mauls my hand. How does that not scare you? If something bit on l- latched onto me, I'd be screaming, wailing over it, getting the people from the car wash, getting the dog wash people. Getting I just the- knew that he wasn't trying to fully fuck me up. He was just he like, hey, that, I didn't you. like that. If I bit you, I'd be trying to hurt you. I bite you every time True, we come to this you. podcast. <laughs> I just put my arm out and Jarch just goes, hey. I, I bite her wrist like this. Okay. And I just push it a little further every time. Yeah, you do. And you go, oh, and I go, and then you, But then what he does, because which is kind, you hold it. Yeah. So it like holds the pressure of the bite. So then I'm like, okay, it feels so better. Weird. I went to a strong and I, I go, wrist. And you literally just pull, if you're wearing a blazer, you pull your sleeve back and you hold your wrist up. It's usually at traffic lights. And I just go, I just go. And you go, oh, and I go, lip. And then I hold it for you. I go, we're okay. And then we pull it off and there's just this tooth mask. It's so weird how we do that and there's no like, oh, this is weird. Or it's just like, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even, you don't, it makes me laugh so hard because you never, you could be texting and I go, wrist, and you go. <laughs> and then I bite your wrist and you go, oh, senorita. And you go. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bite marks. I don't know what it is. Me either. I dig it. <coughs> I'll never stop. Ooh. Sorry, but flip me. What were we talking about? Dog bites? No, before that. The Toby's that. Toby's at Bondi Junction. Yeah. We should go again. Yeah, I'll come with you. Oh, yay. <laughs> they're, 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 they're expensive. <coughs> How much for a Toby? 3500 Fuck off. And they're not pure bed Welsh corgis. Welsh Coburn's, Co- Pembroke's. Pembroke Welsh. Are they yeah. 3500 bucks for a corgi? Worth it. Toby lasted 15 years. That's good effort. Speaking of how long animals, we've got a bone to pick, Louisa. Turn your eyes to D or Dave. <laughs> I shall as well. D or you on mic? Turn your eyes to D. Okay. What's yeah. going on here? You on mic, big dog? I think I know what's coming. You tell me what you think's coming. You're going to say that the trivia question I said to you about the oldest bird was probably wrong. God damn, he's smart. Cockatoo. Where did you get the answer from? Cockatoo okay. lived till 109. So that means you were right on that question. Was it in the wild? Was it... Uh, I don't know. Well, you tell us I what was your say, trivia. I dare say... Well, it'd have to be in uh, bloody... What's it called? Not conservation, fucking... Captivity. Like, captivity. Captivity. Nice. I I, I'll tell you what happened. I googled oldest bird to ever live. That, that, surely that should give you the answer. Yeah. How long did it... Uh, 
oldest known wild bird. Okay, and I think that's wild what I said. bird. Okay. There's a distinction. Okay. Forgivable. Turn your back round now, Jack, and give Dior his space. Sorry, no Dior. eyes on him. Sorry, Dior. That was very intimidating. I'm yeah. quite scared now. I'm so sorry, Dior. Are I you thought, okay? Yeah, I thought Josh was going to bite me. Is this workplace? <laughs> I will. Workplace? Yeah. Work harassment? Yeah, is this like, yeah, you can make a complaint to Tobbs. Yeah, I'm going to go straight to HR. Yeah, please. HR is Tobler. Which is very concerning. <laughs> yeah, well, technically, I'm your boss. How, run me through the logistics of that. Just... Because it goes me and then you just below me. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks I'd be, for I'll be the CEO. You can be the CFO. Couldn't fucking... Oh. Ah, damn it. Try again. Couldn't fucking orgasm. I've heard that a lot. Oh, you okay? No, I say it to myself in my head. Girls are always coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what have you got for me today? Well, you've got Google. Goo goo Sorry. <laughs> You've got, You've got Google. Google. You've got Google crying for me. Yep. Uh, well, I've got a theory. Okay. I've got a yarn. And what? then coming up after the break, the yeah. hotline. Yeah, correct. You hotline. Want me to do Google? I'd love you to do Google, Google crying. Cry. Okay. Lulu goes surfing mm. on Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. It was nice and harmony. <laughs> Where is it? Found it. Okay. Number one headline. So you know the artist Pink, the singer? No. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Everyone knows Pink. Everyone knows Pink. Okay, good. Just checking. Yeah. Pink stunned after fan throws mother's ashes on stage. What? So Pink picked up a hesitantly picking up the bag of human remains, and then she said to the woman, "This is your mum?" Question mark. And she continues to go, "I don't know how I feel about this." And put the bag back down on stage. Uh, yeah, I heard uh, th that act was completely dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's good. Thank you. <clears throat> that's actually quite good. So thank you. But like, people are fucked. That's what I mean. Like, are you not see? I've got Toby's ashes, not here in Christchurch. You're not seeing me taking those to Justin Bieber's concert and throwing them at him. Well, I hope not. Now that here's a nice yeah, ring now to it. See, now this that I've feels it. like something you'd do. Why have you got his ashes? Jill got him cremated. Okay. It's his, it's his Toby Delden. Little paw print. Oh. A bit far. What? what? <laughs> Sorry that you're from a farm and you go through like 80 dogs a year. Yeah. We've had Toby for 15 years. Yeah. We picked him up when I was 15 and I spewed in the woman's garden because I was so hungover. Perfect. Well, that's a beautiful story. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's cool. You can do whatever you want. It's yeah. nice. Not in my correct mundi. Now, if you're throwing yeah, your... What do you reckon about that? Look, I just think fucking don't do that. Don't Let's throw your... What, do you shit. reckon you... Hey, hey. You know what? This is pure conjecture. The mum could have been a huge pink fan. But you reckon your dead mum wants to be thrown up on stage in a fucking plastic bag? How humiliating. I mean, have some fucking respect for yourself. Well, it could have been her dying wishes, though. That's the thing. It could have been. Hence why, if it is, great. Seemingly, probably not. I just think... It just it, seems like it. it's bizarre, mate. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Do you know the yarn about Keith Richards and his no. dad's ashes? No, he, he fucking snorted them. Yeah, he snorted them with Did cocaine, he? yeah. Like, in his book, he told that. I've read that book. He I snorted his dad's ashes. Yeah. So his dad's inside him. Well, it was. 15, 20 minutes. Wait. Uh, they smoked what? Tupac. They smoked Puck, apparently. Chucked him in a bong. They put, How can you smoke ashes? It's already burnt. They just sprinkled him on some weed. What? Chucked him in a bong? No, they on, in, on, in blunts. That they rolled blunts and they just sprinkled him on top of the weed so they smoked the army. That's... That's giving itch. Yeah, I, I just reckon, like, no one... Hey, when I die, it's probably going to be soon, none of my friends, like, eat me. Or smoke me, or throw me on a stage. You don't want me to chuck you in like a chicken pie? Nah. Chuck I, you in like a custard square? I'd really love to be taxidermied, okay? I'd love to have mechanics in my eyes. We just put you up we've on the- that. Yeah, we yeah. put you up on the back I'd of the love podcast to be, I'd love you to get a new podcast partner. But you're but, just there. But I'm just there, and my eyes- He has to wear like a little collar with a tracker, so wherever he goes, my eyes just track him, just to let him know that I'm always watching. Don't fuck watching. this up. 
Well, that's like when Gianni dies, I'd like him at the back. It's, that's a vehicle. Yeah, but I'd like him at the back. Just his front bumper. You were fucking saying this as we walked in. His little front bumper. Who wants bumper? to cut Gianni in half and then have him hanging off a wall? I'm like, do you know how much fucking admin? Yeah, but it would be a cool br- prop. It would be humongous. He's not that big. He's little. Think about how fucking- how cute was he yesterday in the rain? He was <sighs> popping out of the garage, and it was raining. Lou sent me a photo. I'll send you this to you, so you can chuck it on YouTube. She sent me a photo with the caption, "How cute is this." And it was just Gianni parked in a garage. No, no. He was like hot, like a little bit popped out and the rain was trickling. It's fucking... <laughs> just worry about you sometimes, mate. Whenever I... It's, I've been seeing hundreds of Giannis lately. We'll walk outside and I'll see one. <laughs> it's it's like a sign. It's a Ford Fiesta. But he's a Z. So fucking heaps of people No, have he's them. a Ford Fiesta Z-Tech. He's old as well. He's like 2013. Yeah. That's lots, 10 years old. Lots of people have that car. Disagree. Okay. <laughs> Disagree. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, when I get a new car, we're not getting rid of Gianni. We'll have to go halves in him. I have zero fucking... <laughs> Gianni has nothing to do with me. Nor Tobler, HR, be. are we going halves in Gianni? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> ding, ding, senor. Well, if I get half for Gianni, then my half, I'm going to take two with a fucking sledgehammer. Yeah, you can have the other half and do what you want with it. Beat you can the have f- the booty. You can have the tush. Well, I'm an ass kind of a guy. <laughs> Daddy likes the hunchback, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Daddy no like a sedan. You can have the front bumpers, mama. Daddy gonna take that hatch. I'm Daddy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's got to be the podcast name. I'm a hatch kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want that hatch to hatch a little egg for Daddy. It's good. It's good stuff. They're like... Yeah. No, it's not happening. Well, now, trust me. Whoever's ripping. Uh, trust me. In a year's time, when Gianni's due for an upgrade, he'll be up there. Okay. Well, it. we'll see. You want another one? Yes. Okay. This might happen to me as I fly to Europe in a week. Flight <laughs> goes down. Jack. Do <laughs> 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 you always giggling as well? You put Tobs is no Tobs is on my side. He's flabbergasted. <laughs> It's just like, so <laughs> just where Jarge's brain goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck? Where? I'm going to pretend you never said that. Yeah, fair. fair. <clears throat> Perhaps that one's due a cut. <laughs> I mean, if, if the Malaysian Airlines are staying in, then they're not staying in. <laughs> well, that was the whole point of them. They didn't stay in the air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah, but it's still sensitive to people, you asshole. Sorry. Naughty. Yeah. I'm going to be the voice of reason here for you two fuckwits. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I get Dior on my side. Okay. Fun. Woman flabbergasted as plane passenger tickles her leg with bare foot mid-flight. Sorry. So the woman's got her legs down like that, and it'd be as if you sitting in front of me and me just going with my bare no. feet. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Why? Why? <laughs> Why the, was the bitch doing that behind her? Dunno, no reason. She took a video of it. Are you joking? Yeah. So she's just tickling her legs, going. She, do, uh, do, do, do. I'd I'd punch him square in the fucking face. There's the little toe. G- give me this. Yeah. So the toe barefoot coming. Wait, is she doing it as a as a joke? No. They make feet too. Look at the fucking big old bloody. What are they called? Yeah, no what are they nice think? Bun- bunions. Bunions. Oh, I had a bunion called Grant. <laughs> I can, she's got cars called Gianni, koalas called Kevin, maybe, Bunyan's called Grant. Maybe that's the I wish you could find a boyfriend called fucking something. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> really disrespecting planes, disrespecting me. <laughs> What's fucking next, this podcast? Joe's violence. Uh, well, give it back to me, bloody old man. See it. Can't even fucking use a phone. Maybe that's the name of the pod, Grant the Bunyan. <laughs> Something's playing. What'd um, you name that dead mouse? Herbert. <laughs> I she found a photo of Herbert the other day. You are such a fucking unit, mate. In his little, I had a little funeral. For I him. know you did. Um, you concern me. You concern me, a lot. Nice. I mean, your thoughts. 
It's really nice. Well, I guess you're thinking about me too. I think you'll like this one. This will give you a bit of a chuckle. Show me the fucking tickling video. No, I'll show you after the podcast. Oh, this okay. is a visual, this is Sorry. an audio based thing. Yeah, that's fair. Like, come on. Yeah. It's not just for your pleasure. People are listening to this for a reason. That's correct. Not for you to bloody watch something in your own time. Correct. Sorry. Please continue. <coughs> So sorry. Good stuff. Well, that was very phlegmy. <coughs> Dad spends thirty-four pounds on curry, only to find takeaway shop had shut down when he got there. How the fuck has that made fucking news? Poor Ian. Imagine, God, imagine ordering a lovely butter chicken, a tikka masala, maybe some garlic naan, maybe even a cheesy garlic naan jarch. Let's chuck in a few popper doms. <laughs> Daddy drives there. <laughs> Daddy's hungry. <laughs> Ian's daddy, by the way. Ian gets there. Yeah. There's a closed sign. Not just a closed sign. Poor as closed. in a we've closed down. But but how slow is the fucking news in England? I mean, gee whiz. Well, he ordered on an app Fair and then got there. Yeah, but and a spokesman for Curry Barber apologized and said if orders are accepted by mistake, to contact them for a refund. But Ian says he still hasn't received his cash. Says. Oh, whatever. I was Th fucking reading. Uh, uh, well, do you say says or says? Says. Okay, sorry. You, you, you're mean. E you're, e I'm should just we pay for Ian's next curry order? No. Now, I'm pissed off at Ian because that, that's wasting my fucking time. I thought you'd enjoy that. You'd be fucked off if you ordered your bloody... If you ordered Big John's pizza, let's put scenario. Yeah. Daddy's sitting at home. Yeah. Daddy's ordered a nice pizza with extra toppings. I'm, a, I'm assuming I'm daddy, by the way. You're daddy, by no, the way. Thank you. You've got an extra cheese. Yeah. You've thrown in a Coke because you're not worried about the sugar contents. <laughs> daddy drives all the way to Big John's. <coughs> daddy walks inside. Closed forever sign? Daddy no likey. <laughs> No, Daddy break down crying because my favourite pizza shop. That's how Ian felt with Bobby. Yeah, but I'm not going to fucking Bobby use. Curry. I just go on the app and go, hey guys, I just ordered something, uh, looking Disagree. for a refund. Instead Disagree. of Disagree. You know what your news is? This podcast. You would have come straight here on the morning we recorded the podcast and said, I've got something to start the podcast with, Lou. Guess what happened to me? Certainly wouldn't be an a fucking escalator stopped. Put it that way. I'm taking this call. Fuck it. Talk to me. Okay. Who have I got? <laughs> Judge is on the phone. How you going, mate? Oh, right. Okay, it's an important phone call. I did, bro. You can just leave it there. I'll pick her up on the way past. Oh, okay, he's picking up someone. Yeah, it, or, or do you go to the post office at all? Okay, he's talking to the local postman. Nah, bro, just, just leave it there riveting. and I'll pick her up on the way past. Pick her up? You, you're a legend, mate. Thank you. Since yeah, when does the postman? It's the, it's the body pillow that he got for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that might be a wig out. You're a legend, bro. You're a legend. All right, hero. Bye, mate. Bye. What was that? What was that all about? Just getting a parcel delivered, but he's delivering it to the old address. Why were you saying her? Sorry? You said I'll pick her up on the way through. Oh, just a term as pick her up on the way through. Like, is like. He was probably thinking you're going to, like. Well, it's a sex doll. I was just about to say you're going to yeah. fuck whatever the parcel is. Yeah, it's her name's Jasmine. I ordered her online. Sorry, everyone. We just had to come back because we've just actually I've actually clapped about 44 times in a row from all the inappropriate things Jack has said. <laughs> so here we are again. I can't even remember what we were saying because it's just been <laughs> diabolical for the last three minutes. <laughs> that's, I feel what like Steph, I'm, that's what Steph says every time I have sex. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm the voice of reason today. Uh, well, this is usually me. <clears throat> Sorry, Senorita, you are not the voice of reason. <laughs> I'm usually toning you down when Mama's had her coffees. Your Mama, by the way. <laughs> Josh and I were laughing out. Before he does a story, he'll go. I just think it's a great way to say something arrogantly. Yeah. When you sniff afterwards or you go, yeah, Big Dog said to me, uh, he said I was the best footy player I'd ever seen. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Very addition. good. Okay, I got a theory. Oh fuck! Now this is not cut up, but this won't be cut. This is going to be something I feel like maybe you and I will bond over. Okay. Got a theory. The higher you get your hopes for something, I feel like there's some universal thing. I'm not into woo woo. I'm not into none of that shit. But the higher you get your hopes up for something, I feel like equally there's that 
same amount of it not going to then happen. Oi, I actually agree with this. Do you know what I mean? Anytime I've ever wanted like a job or like an acting role and I've wanted it really bad, yeah. I've never got it. it it's as like, long as you just go, fuck it, well, it is what it is. Dude, if it happens, sweet. That's how I have to be. I've been burned so many times in my life by getting my hopes up. I don't get my hopes up anymore. Like, Is that us being, is the word pessimistic? Cynical. Cynical. <clears throat> but like, even when people say to me with the podcast, they're like, mate, your life's going to change. I'm like, don't say that to me. Yeah. Please stop saying that to me. Yeah. I've got like once, when I wanted, I was a kid, right? You were a kid. At some point, I can't really remember, okay. but I do know I Please did. Please go forth. I went through formative years at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, going to age myself here. Well, you bloody young, bloody, oh, yeah, bloody Americans. living. Back in the day, we used to have Discmans. Yeah. Okay. You'd carry a box of CDs around with you and a Discman. Mm. Then the MP3 player came into play. The iPod was obviously the coolest thing in the whole wide world. iPods come out. I've got a Discman. I'm probably 17 years old. Mum says, what do you want for your birthday, doll? I go, Mum, I'd really love an iPod. She goes, I'm, I'm your genie. Your wish is my command. You're getting an iPod. So I am fucking pumped. This is a couple of months out. So for the next few months, all I can think about is I'm getting an iPod. I'm, I'm pumped up. I've built it up. I've told all the boys. iPod's you, coming to school. iPod's coming to school, boys. Little green nano. Yeah. Well, it was actually one of the silver big dogs. Oh, yeah, the U2 you one. Know what, you know what I mean? And I was like, who wants to share a fucking headphone, boys? i got two of them. Let's sit in class and listen to my iPod. Birthday rolls around. Keep in mind, I've been pumping myself. And, like, as a kid, you don't have any real responsibility. So mm -hmm. this is the sort of shit that really affects you. I'm pumped. Get the box. Nice little card from mum. Love you, darling. Proud of you. Great card. Read it out of respect. Didn't really care. Opening the present. Rip a little bit. Notice that doesn't look white. Like the traditional boxing of an Apple product would be. <laughs> <laughs> I open this bad boy up It's some sort of generic brand MA3 player <clears throat> And I go And mum goes Now I know you wanted an iPod And I'm going I'm not going to be an ungrateful cunt I was like Oh thank you Thanks mum Because I'm like You know I'm not going to be a little prick She goes I know you wanted an iPod But the guy in Harvey Norman Told me this one is better no. Huh? And so I go... You didn't ask for an MP3. I go... D so I've had beef with this fucker for the rest of my life. So I've walked in some little fucking dickhead working at Harvey Norman with his getting, own personal getting preference. Getting perks from Re your mum buying that one. Correct. He goes, no, this one's got better storage and actually there's better playback and blah, blah, blah. Mum's gone in. I want an iPod for my son. He's gone, fuck that, homie. Doesn't, I'm not thinking about your son for his birthday. You know, he's only been thinking about this for two months. Go with this option, okay? Some little 17-year-old pimply face fuckhead ruined my life back then. Told mum, go with this. Mum thought she was doing the right thing. <laughs> I go life. to fucking school with this generic brand fucking MP3 player. Fine, it's doing the job. Not the same. Is it an iPod? No. Am I getting bitches with a generic brand MP3? No. Nah. If I had a silver iPod, guess what? Flocking. They're flocking. You know, you know what I mean? Generic just got his hands up going, <laughs> they're flocking, like, come to daddy. <laughs> Not with a generic MP3. I think I had to, like, download <laughs> software just to get Lime songs wire. onto it. Shit like that. Lime wire. Ruin me. Yeah. Ruin me. And ever since then, I'm like, I'll never get my hopes I up. I love how that's again. your story about getting your hopes up. But there's shit like that. It's, like, yeah. fun shit like that. I, I think never mine's do. more of, like, a... Like a work thing. If you ever wanted something so bad and then it just never happens. Yeah, I because usually crush it in the up. workplace, so I just get get that stuff. But you don't like, have a job. <laughs> You're the same well, as spin, me. Well, spin me your yarn. I can't think of one exact moment, but like... You know what I mean, though? Yeah, I, I can remember even like, I don't know, back in my eight-year-old chubby years, you know, doing an acting performance. Yeah. Wanting the lead role so bad. Yep. Sorry, Lou. You're not going to be the lead bully. There were three bullies, Jack. I wanted the lead one. I got the sidekick snot. Now, what was that? Because they they cast you based off what was coming out of your nose most days every day that was on your upper lip? I think, I think they thought I resembled a snot. Oh, just a booger. I've actually got a photo of it and you'll fucking piss yourself. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm a school bully, I'm like this in the photo and I've got a black wig on and a fake like black eye. 
<laughs> Actually, I need it. I need to try and find it. Please do. Who would I have sent it to? Do you, you get any fucking? I, do, I do you know what I mean? I do, but I also just think what you're talking about is just like having expectations that are high and then not realizing them. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. But then when you remove expectations, thing. you're never disappointed. Yeah. So I'm the same like that with birthdays. I used to really love birthdays, like make like lists about like things I would love to get. Harder. But now I'm just like fuck it. Like let's go to the pub, have a beer or two with some mates. Yeah, like, I, mean, I hate exact birthdays same. now. It's yeah. just because it, it just ruins you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like wanting a good birthday just always ends up in disappointment. Oh, birthdays are the worst. Everyone Mate. cries on their birthday. Yeah, but this is coming from someone who a few weeks ago was like, "Oh, I need a month long celebration for my." <laughs> oh birthday. yeah, don't you worry. I'll still be having my month long. <laughs> okay, yeah. but I guarantee you, you'll be pumping yourself up for that day of gastro. No, <laughs> Jack. That's what that's what I'm talking about, though, Dar. When you hype your shit, shit, shit up, you know what I mean. No. If you didn't hype yourself up, you were not going to get gastro. It's not true. Okay, hold fire for two seconds while I find this photo. While you find it, can I just say, shout out to all the bedwetters buying merch and sending photos of you in the merch. It looks fucking red hot and oh, we're I love very it. proud of it. It's very exciting. And we love you. This snot. <laughs> Is that the most fucked You look photo like you're in seen? the band Kiss. <laughs> You look like an eight-year-old Chris Farley. <laughs> Post-mortem. <laughs> oh, my amazing, days. Amazing, <laughs> Swipe across one to see a Joe Rogan. Oh, nude. The blonde wig. Free wristies. The blonde wig. That's you as Joe Rogan. Yeah. Remember I told you I dressed as Joe Rogan? Yeah. R- run me through why you chose I don't know why I chose wig of go- gold don't blonde know. locks. Don't know. He's never had them. Never had them. Traditionally brown hair. Yep. And then no hair. Mm-hmm. So you've gone for Joe. So why that? I don't know. If we could put both those photos up on the YouTube, <clears throat> that'd be ideal. We'll chuck them on the, uh, the, the IG as well. I'd love that. Um, I've got a riddle for you. Ooh. I'm not very traditionally very good at riddles. I just want to see if you can get this riddle. Okay. Okay. This segment's called Riddle Riddle Time. Riddle Riddle Time with Louisa. <laughs> okay, that sounds awfully like a radio show that I used to work on, but sure. Okay, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Whipper, if you're listening, Josh is still in your segment. <laughs> I just wanted you I just wanted one of my mates sent me this. He's like, I want to see if Lou can get this riddle. Josh, this, I guarantee you it'll take me twenty minutes. Perfect, we got time. <laughs> Should we just keep it going until I figure it yeah, out? Just, and none of us can talk. Yeah, just <laughs> silence. Everyone comes back in 10 minutes when I've figured it out. Yeah, bed, bed with us. You go and make a cup of tea or something. Um, okay. There's a father and son in a car driving. They have an accident. The father dies immediately. The son is rushed to emergency. The surgeon walks in and says, I cannot operate on this boy. He is my son. How does that work? Stepdad. The guy who died in the car was a stepdad. No. Easy. It was a um. Hang on. The f- the guy, sorry, who died in the car? The father died. In the, the father and son went driving. Father they have a car accident. Father dies immediately. Son's rushed to hospital. The surgeon walks in and says, "I cannot, I cannot operate on this boy. Here's my son." Is the surgeon work? religious? No. Is the Man who died in the car when he says "father," the the ch- paste pastor of the church. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? No, uh, cannot operate on this. So easy. D- don't. Wait, he, uh, he's fuck. Okay, so he's <coughs> the dad's died in the car. Then the guy's now saying, "I can't operate on this guy. He's my son." Mm. Uh, the guy in the car was just a sperm donor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the answer? I guess. The surgeon was his mum. Women can have a bit of surgery jobs too. Oh. Lisa, you sexist pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even think that. It's his mum. Wow. <laughs> That's really good. You've gone religious, sperm donors. He was a pastor. He was a preacher from another life. Stepdad. Well, I thought, you know, father, <laughs> father. When you said stepdad, I was like, she's going to get it here in a second. Because I was like, oh, she'll Can think. Can you give me thing. another riddle? We may have stolen this segment. 
Sorry, guys. Another riddle. We can call it Riddle Me This. Let's call it Riddle Me This. Okay. Riddle Me This. I consume tons of food, but I'm simply a miner. <laughs> I make the ground shake. I make mountains go higher. The sea doth rise when I take a step. <laughs> when I get to Chowan, there's no produce left. Who am I? <laughs> Would you be eight-year-old Lou? Oh, you are good at riddles. <laughs> Senorita, that was very funny. Oh, I liked that a lot. It was very funny. Oh, dear. It's time for the hotline. Okay. Let's see what the bedwetters have been up to. What's daddy got for me? <laughs> this is taking on a life of its own yeah. to the point where bedwetters are now commenting in the things going... Yeah, Daddy didn't like that one in brackets. I'm Daddy, by the way. <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right. Let's, oh, fuck, I've got to fucking connect. <laughs> Sorry. I've got to connect to the record. Mate. <laughs> I'm not connected. Okay, technology 101. I'm a bit nervous for when I'm over in Europe recording the pod. I'm not very technical. No, you're not. No, you're not, but... Will I be able to hear hotlines from Europe? Yeah. Good. We'll just turn up the volume really loud. So yeah, so you can, can just hear it, it across yeah. the ditch or across the way. <laughs> I uh, mean, in my headphones, you bloody hooligans. Oh, get out of it. Get out of it, you. No, you, get, you stop with the shenanigans. Oh, get out of it. <laughs> what have we even been talking about for an hour? I don't know. Let's go back to the <laughs> escalator <laughs> chat. There we go. Okay, we we'll go back to the escalator chat. When you called it an elevator 40 times. Yeah, someone's told me, well, Tobbs <laughs> told me that I was calling it an elevator, which is apparently a lift. Well, I actually told you that, but thanks. Oh, so sorry, Dior. <laughs> thanks, yeah. We're just like sass. one person. There's just one other person that works in the studio. You guys just morph into yeah. one. HR and producing. <laughs> Produce. No. All right, let's do it. Prejara thing. There we go. Bed, what is it? Oh, I'm just driving to work on a lovely Thursday morning. Happy Friday Eve. Come. Happy Friday Eve. Anyway. I was driving in the car with my boyfriend last night and I had the potty going. And he said, fuck, she's annoying. <laughs> Lulu, I love you. I'm no longer with him. Because fuck, judge the rat dog. <laughs> Team Lulu all the way. Anyway, yes. have a good day. Yes. <laughs> she's dumped her boyfriend because he called me annoying. And call me a rat dog, which is so fucking on point. Sayonara. We look, love her. What was her name? Um, she didn't leave her name, did she? No, she didn't. We love you. We'll just call her mwah, mwah. Michelle. Okay. Wow. You really like Michelle. <laughs> Thank you, Danky. Hey, Bedwetters. Got a green light, red light, green light for you. Doing the shopping on payday. Thinking, fuck it. I'll go out for dinner now. What are your thoughts? <laughs> it's so green. Green. You know how many times I've done that? Green. Payday comes around. You do a big shop. You go, yep, this is my grub yep. for the week. I You're unpack it all. Meal prep. Then I go, fuck, I'm pretty tired from unpacking all those groceries. Uber Eats. Down to the Rojo. Down to the Rojo. A few scoops. Lulu want snitty. a palmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lulu want a schnit. That is such a green fucking, I love that mm, one. That's good. That resonates. So, yeah, we're both green on that. Hello, Lolo Popo and Daddy. <laughs> um, your daddy, by the way, Jarchi. Um, this is my second time calling because I actually fucked up the first one. Anyways, I was calling to say that at Athlete's Foot, they actually have a hawker's sale. And I have a real quick question. Is Athlete's Foot where they get the fucking fungus between the toes? That's real fucking gross. Not grouse, gross. Um, currently laying in bed with my dog. Red light, green light, naming your dog's weird fucking shit. Like my dog's name is Cindy Lou Who. Cindy make Lou Who. Sense. Also, Lou Poo Poo, I'm with you on the abbreviations. Yes. I abbreviate everything. It's actually gone to a point where 
people got mad at me. Also, your <laughs> Love Goes Between Lulu Doo podcast where you guys were pretending to be on the radio show, I actually had to pause it because it was hurting my brain. Like, I had to stop listening. It was bad. Anyway, ciao, ciao. Yeah. She is me. Yeah. The amount, she just jumped from tangent Bro, to tangent to tangent. I listened to that and I was like, this is, yeah. this is, if you could ball up ADHD, that's that phone call. Yeah. Also love how she likes to abbreviate things, but she nicknamed you Lulu Poo Poo, so you made it longer. No, I feel like that still works. Shut up, Siri. Thank you. Fuck that. She's fucking lippy, Siri. She always wants to get on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, I loved that call. Ooh. Oh, oh, fuck. Have you seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger um, Netflix? Good pronunciation. Netflix series? No. Oh, Charge, you'll love it. Really? The action yeah. one? It, it's his life. From Austria to oh, America. Oh, documentary, because he's got a new show on Netflix. That's it. It's amazing. He still pumps weights at 75. Yeah. And and I realise that I'm really, there's something wrong with me. Every time a word, no. every time a word would come up that was a different country, I'd like print, I'd like do like a show for the words. I'd be like, Miami. I'd be like, Austria. Hamburg. What do you mean? Well, I'd just like. Do a like different pronunciation for it. Like Fuck, you'd be fun to watch TV with. Yeah. Anyway, back to the hotline. <laughs> it just came to my. I brain. want to get that bird and you to. I don't. It'll be chaos. No one would get a word in. She sounds like one of our OG listeners. Probably. Liv. The Bondi girl. Yes, she sent videos to us before. You like reckon that's her? She just. Le- it just sounds like her. Funny. Because she clearly has fucking ADHD. Liv. She sent us videos being like, Hi, Judge. Hi, Lou. You can't, I'm just on a self- bi- you can't diagnose a bedwetter. Whoa. Sorry, are you Dr. Archdale? No. You're Daddy Archdale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm self-diagnosed daddy. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, okay sorry. one more. Shout out to Liv. OG. Hey, fuck you. Jeff is a fucking amazing, you assholes. <laughs> Fantails, are you crazy? Jaffers. Jaffers are fucking amazing. That's fucked. By the way, I reckon your uh, podcast should be called You Know What I Mean instead of We Mean Well. <laughs> Fuck me dead, Judge. Get a new phrase. <laughs> Love yous. Love ya. We're both for life. BW for, for our life, baby. Mate. Keep pissing. No. Jaffers, mate, come on. If You're you want to be a bedwetter, you got to love fantails. You're better than that. We don't like Jeffies. Okay. I want to do a random yeah, one. Go, go rogue. Yep. Go one rogue. And stop. You know what? You just click one. Okay. Good morning, senorita. Morning, senorita. Now, I've got a bit of a bloody bone to pick with both. Mm. I'm just going to put it out there that you're probably going to both feel like fuckwits when I tell you what it is. Oh, no. Uh, last episode, 33 minutes and exactly 36 seconds. Jachi, who the fuck leaves voicemails? Lou, probably people over 60. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking podcast yep. runs on voice of you dickhead. Come on. Fuck. Uh, I left a comment on the potty, but I thought I should leave this uh, just so, just so uh, you can really just let it sink in. Have a bit of a think about my God. Have a think about your actions. Right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, P.S. <laughs> I own a pole dance studio called Rockfit on the Gold Coast. And I think I'm um, going you need to drop in, make some killer content. Yeah, we do. a few moves. And, um, yeah, I think the bedwetters would fucking love it. That's a great so, idea. Um, yep. Yeah, so... Um, That's such when, a good point. Like if, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bye. Love you. How, how did we not even pick up on that? i tell you how. Like, the is. whole hotline is voicemails. That's exactly, We're idiots. That's exactly what it is. We're actually idiots. <laughs> so fucked. Is there anything in our brains? No. Nah. Nah. That'll do us. I guess we end it there. So sorry, bedwitters. Keep calling the hotline. We fucking love voicemails and they're not for people over 60. <laughs> they're, 
They're the main proponent of the show. Actually, they're the only reason we're still running. Oh, fuck me, Dad. Well, I'll do the intro. Judge is a bit stunned for words. Outro. Yeah. yeah. Well, fucking six, 69 on fucking TikTok and fucking we mean well. <laughs> Who wrote? Keep pissing, y'all. Keep pissing. Ciao, ciao. Cheers. That is such a great point. She has blown us out of the water to that. <laughs>